in this video we would be solving this question which says now suppose that the prices are as before but Ambrose's income is 34. Draw his new budget line with pencil. How many units of nuts will he choose and how many units of berries will he choose? From the previous part we know that let x1 denote your nuts, x2 denote the number of berries consumed by Ambrose. Let P1 be the price of nuts and P2 be the price of berries. From previous part, we know that P1 is 1, P2 is your 2 and let M be his income. Where your M is equal to 34. And we are asked to find his new budget line. The standard equation of the budget line is where expenditure is equal to income. Where expenditure is equal to price of nuts multiplied by the units consumed of nuts plus price of berries plus units consumed of berries. This should be equal to your income. Let's substitute the value of P1, P2 and M into this. So that would be 1 multiplied by X1 plus 2 multiplied by X2 is equal to 34. That is X1 plus 2 X2 is equal to 34. So this is the equation of a desired budget line. Now let's draw this budget line to the graph we have drawn till now. So where on the x-axis you have nuts, y-axis you have berries. This red solid graph gives Ambrose the utility of 20. And this was the corresponding budget line which had the equation of x1 plus 2 x2 is equal to 24. And this red indifference curve gave Ambrose the utility of 25. Now let's draw this budget line. So by simple geometry, this would look like this gray line. Now the further question asks us, how many units of nuts will he choose? Or how many units of berries will he choose? So and by what logic will Ambrose calculate how many units of nuts or berries to choose? So the simple concept that defines the consumption would be that the optimal pool consumption position is where your indifference curve is tangent to the budget line. So that the consumer is exhausting his entire income since the preferences are well behaved. And also he is able to achieve the highest level of utility. Here we can see that your indifference curve is tangent to the budget line at the consumption bundle 16,9. So your consumption bundle is 16,9. Your optimal consumption bundle is 16,9. Also, your consumption bundle takes the form of x1, x2. Since your x1 is on the x-axis, which is nuts, and x2 is on the y-axis, which is berries. Now, mapping this, your x1 becomes 16, and x2 is equal to 9. Thus, the Ambrose would be consuming 9 nuts, sorry, 16 nuts, and 9 berries.